Hey guys, Creativity here. Welcome back to another video where today we're going to be making a Hatsune Miku custom chibi out of clay. Now I'm going to be using air dry clay as I always do. And if you guys have no idea who Hatsune Miku is, then I'm going to give you guys a brief description. So Hatsune Miku is the name of a Vocaloid software voice bank developed by Krypton Future Media. Uh, so basically what it's supposed to be is that uh, basically it's supposed to be a software uh, an artificial software which can sing but the avatar is uh, is like a is like a girl is like a girl who's yeah so basically the icons like a girl and she was supposed to be a software program but she's also a pop star an artificial software program is also a pop star. So her name is Hatsune Miku and today we are going to be making a customized chibi version of her. So without further ado guys, let's begin. So as you guys are going to see this video has no editing because at the moment I am a little bit of a, I'm in a little bit of a time crunch. So there is going to be no editing to this video, just straight making. So without further ado, let's begin. So the colors for this video are going to be a very light and pale skin tone, a black and a light blue, a little bit of yellow and a few paint for detailing and stuff as well. So yeah, let's begin. So as you can see, I've already shaped the head. This is going to be Hatsumiku's head. So now we're going to move, now we're going to move on to the hair. Now the hair is um, one of the difficult parts you could say because she has this like really long ponytails um, she has two really long pigtails and uh, yeah that's that's gonna take us some time but it shouldn't be too difficult so now I'm just gonna roll out my very light blue clay into a slight curved teardrop now I'm going to use a blade to add a little bit of texture. Now this, this texture part is completely optional but I just like to add a little bit of texture. Okay. So this one we're just gonna sorry so this first one we're just gonna place onto uh, her face like so and there goes the first parting now i'm using a reference image to make this um but you don't have to you can just see my tutorial and make it also but yeah so i'm thinking of making more chibi tutorials in the future for example i have this random chibi which i post on my instagram then i also have a chibi based on sia furler who is the singer who's she's like a pop star she makes she like sings songs um and i'm gonna be making a few more chibis and yeah so this my this is my first chibi video so excuse me if it's not too great um but uh, yeah anyways now we're going to now we're going to place the second parting right here now again i'm going to go ahead and texture this again guys the texture part completely optional Okay, so there we have the front of the face. Now I'm going to be making the eyes. Uh, I won't be making the eyes in this video. I'm going to be making another video coming up where I'll show you guys how I make the eyes. Okay, now guys, we're going to continue to make her hair. Now you can make, you can make textured hair if you want. 
but I'm just gonna make little snakes of clay and keep adding them onto her hair. Head, sorry, not hair. Again, guys, this is Hatsumiku, who is a Vocaloid software program, who is also a singer. Now, I've heard some of her songs. They're okay, not bad, actually. But I just don't prefer the really high pitch which she has. It's weird referring to an AI as she. But, yeah. So here we have a little bit of the head. And sorry guys, this is going to be a really long tutorial. Uh, and you can comment down below if you like listening to the sound of my voice. Or should I add music in the background? Or should I make a total ASMR and not say anything? So you can leave that down in the comments. But till then, I'm going to keep on speaking because that's that's a way i find it easier to explain it to you guys what i am doing so now again i'm rolling a few snakes of clay to make her hair and now we're done okay so the hair is done and now we're gonna make her little pigtails so for the pigtails you use the exact same color as you did for the hair now Hatsumiku has either really really bright blue hair or in some other photos and pictures as I have seen she has slightly, uh, she has more of a teal green but according to the, but mostly according to whatever you choose but I usually see a really light blue so that's what I'm going for. So now we just, and sorry guys, the camera might be a little shaky because, uh, yeah, I keep, I'm like making stuff and it's moving quite a lot. So you'll have to bear with me. So there goes the first pigtail. And again, texture completely not necessary. there is another pigtail now since I'm not too good with hair I might be mistaking the pigtails for ponytails whatever they're called I'm not too sure uh, so if I'm calling ponytails pigtails or pigtails ponytails or I keep mixing the two throughout the video then please you be free, feel free to correct me down in the comments below because I have no idea what they're called. Again, to the other one also, I'm going to add some texture. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of definition to the hair. Yeah. So, yep, that's the head done. And I just checked it took me about 9 minutes to make just the head and hair. That's um it's okay, but like yeah, I know, it's not too good. Now we're going to add a little bit of the detail. We're going to make her little rubber bands which go across her hair. Now in some pictures I've seen them to be black as well. But in, the most, in most pictures and in the picture used on Wikipedia, it's supposedly supposed to be red. So that's the exact same color that I'm going for. Next we're going to move on to the body. So for the body you're going to be needing the color grey, black and a little bit skin tone and a bit of blue. So we're going to start with the jacket. Oh, you can hear me struggling behind there but yeah. Okay so for the jacket we're going to be making the jacket is grey so you'll be needing some grey and black so 
again, I'm just grabbing some gray. Now, the jacket is gray. Oh god, I've said that so many times. The jacket is gray. Uh, and it's a sleeveless jacket. So, uh, yeah. So now, so since I didn't have the light gray, so jacket is also light gray, not really a dark gray. So, I don't know if you can see it too well. Focus. Yeah. So once you have your gray, what you're gonna do? So she's she has a really lean body. So I'm just gonna break off a little bit of that gray, and now you wanna sculpt it. So for the neck, you do this. Then for the hip, you make it really thin, and then you squeeze a bit of the bottom part. Now I'm just gonna use some super glue some super ugh. basically you just want to stick on you want to stick on this gray piece to you want to stick on this gray piece onto the head so for that I've just got a head pin so just insert the head pin through there then put it inside of the grey jacket we just made so that's what it should look like I'm just gonna fix the shape a little bit yeah so that's what it should look like right now now you wanna make the black part now she has a black skirt so I'm just gonna grab some black clay for the skirt Now to make the skirt, you don't need to do too much. Just get your black clay. And what I'm doing is I'm just... Obviously, uh, so just... I'm gonna just use one of my tools here to roll out the clay to make it thin. Then you make... I'm gonna just pinch it and make a few triangles here. Because that's what it looks like. Now I'm just going to wrap it around her waist like so and then I'm going to use another tool to very gently push out the edges. So guys here I have the completed skirt so I just as you can see I added a bit of blue trim at the bottom. I fixed it up a little bit on the sides here and I added a few yellow polka dots as it is on the uh, as it is on the uh, reference image I'm using. So now we're gonna move on to the tie. Now there is a tie over her neck which is also blue so which is actually the same color as her hair so we're just gonna grab a little bit a wee bit of blue and put that wee bit of blue so it's literally like a dot so then we're gonna put that on her neck and now we're gonna make now we're just gonna make a tie shape now this doesn't have to be too long so but I'm just gonna trim off a bit of the top And then put it on to that. And there is the tie. Now we're just going to make the arms and the legs. So now for the legs. So guys, here is the completed Hatsumiku charm. Chibi charm. So the arms were just long little flesh tone uh, worms. Which wrapped around. Which were wrapped. Uh, which were uh, wrapped around uh, which I which 
the little uh, snakes of skin colored clay and i wrapped some black clay around them and the legs were just a little little, little black black uh, long sticks i guess which are a little bit folded just to show and since we used a head pin the head is movable so yeah so guys in my next video i'll be showing this completed one with the eyes painted on and in my next video i'll also show you guys how to paint on the eyes guys thank you so much for watching and before you click away uh, if you're interested please do consider checking out my instagram account at my name is at creator create dot vt and please follow me if you're interested to see more updates and things like this and thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time also you can watch another video by clicking here and subscribe to my channel by clicking here thank you guys